Hello. Assalamu alaikum uh, and very good morning. Uh, I hope you are all doing well, inshallah. Uh, first of all, I'm sure that uh, all of you are aware of the uh, importance of scientific uh, research in all aspects of our lives, uh, especially in teaching and learning. And because of that, uh, Zahra College for Women comes up with this initiative to link uh, scientific research with education. Uh, in fact, this initiative allows uh, the academic staff at the college uh, to present their uh, research uh, papers. And then these papers will be evaluated to see if we can incorporate them into the curricula offered by the college. Uh, to continue uh, the previous series of uh, symposiums, today, Dr. Saad Jassen, uh, assistant, yeah. profi assistant Dr. professor. Uh, my qualification with the diploma from, in TESO. So I supposedly to be an English teacher in government school. But then I- Excuse me, who's this? Um, it was not really my interest to begin with. So- uh, uh, no. Uh, Sorry for the mistake. Uh, you can start now because someone is uh, not closing the mic. Who's that? You can yes, yes. now, please. Okay, so so uh, to to continue the previous series of uh, symposiums uh, today, inshallah, Dr. Saad Jassim, assistant professor from uh, the managerial and financial sciences uh, department at the college will present a research paper entitled Sustainability Balance Scorecard and Environmental Performance Outcomes, a systematic review. Uh, this research paper was published, uh, uh, I think, in the International Journal of Productivity and Performance Management. Uh, but before we start, I need to draw, to draw your attention that there will be a certificate awarded to all participants. But please, we need you to fill a link uh, to achieve the certificate. The link will be sent at the end of the symposiums. Also, there will be another uh, link. Uh, we need you to evaluate this symposium uh, through a questionnaire. So we will find the questionnaire at the end of the seminar. Uh, finally, uh, I want uh, to tell you that there will be Q&A session. So you can ask uh, Dr. Soad any question relating her uh, paper. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Soad. The floor is yours. You can start now. Thank you, Dr. Yahya. Just give me a second. I would like to share my slide. Okay. Yes. Yes, you're... go ahead, Doctor. Thank you. Yes. OK. Could you see the slide? Is it yes. my voice clear? Yeah, I think it's clear, yes, we see your slides. You can go ahead, please. Okay. First, thank you, Dr. Yahya, for the introduction. Uh, good morning, everyone. I hope you are all doing well. Before I begin, I would like to express my gratitude to the uh, Dean of the Zahra uh, College for Women, Dr. Musallam al Ma'ani, and also to the Scientific Forum Committee for giving me this opportunity. Actually, I believe this session will be a fruitful one, and I hope you will find it quite thrilling and beneficial at the same time. Today, I shall present my uh, research paper entitled Sustainability Bonus Card Architecture and Environmental Performance Outcome, a Systematic Review. The corresponding author is me, Dr. Suad Jassen, and co-authors are Dr. Zarina Zakaria, uh, she's um, associate prof and uh, head of accounting department at uh, fac uh, Faculty of Business and Accountancy, University of Malaya. And Dr. Anna Azmi, she's an associate professor in accounting department at uh, the Business and Accountancy uh, Faculty, uh, University of Malaya. This article has been published in the International Journal of Productivity and Performance Management which is the Scopus Index, this journal quartile ranking for the year 2020, Q2, which cite uh, score 3.5, SG, uh, SGR 0.42. Now, you might be wondering why 
did I choose this article, uh, this article in uh, particle to present in today's episode of Teaching Nexus? Well, my interest in research is managerial accounting technique, particularly those that are related to the sustainability. So sustainability is an important concept that is widely referenced and that has achieved broad support. Yet, yes, it remains uh, inherently difficult to implement, especially where in accounting practices because of its complexity and due to the uh, enormous uh, shifts in thinking that it uh, proposes. These statements are supported by a recent uh, survey published by Harvard Business Review, whereby the authors have found that 43% of Fortune 500 companies are presently using SBSC, Sustainability Bonus Scorecard, to measure organizational performance along triple bottom line goals. This has been quoted from their article, actually, where they stated that we have seen companies deploy these two tools, scorecard and strategy map, not only to enhance their own performance, but also to achieve alignment across organizational barriers, such as in customer suppliers, relationship, joint ventures, and more recent and uh, and more recent inclusive growth uh, ecosystem. And they have stated that SBSC can effective tool in managerial accounting for real uh, time decisions. Henceforth, as academics, I believe it should be crucial to familiarize our students with such tools and aim to include the sustainability bonus scorecard in the curriculum as that will greatly benefit them when they later enter industry practice after graduation. Now, without being said, let's begin our research paper discussion. Given the current global climate change, the need to implement environmental and sustainability goals in business organization is deemed, a cru a cru is, is deemed a necessary, crucial, in order for managers to make adequate decision to achieve those goals, they need what? They need a tool, right? So this tool is known as SBSC, Sustainability Balance Scorecard. So what does SBSC mean? Sustainability Balance Scorecard architecture is another, uh, another let's say, derivative of, uh, of the Balance Scorecard that aims to provide a comprehensive overview of, of key sustainability performance parameters based on the integration of environmental and social metrics along with the economic goals into organizational strategies. To understand this concept in more depth, it was necessary to conduct a very thorough literature review to further understand the influence of SBSC architecture on environmental stewardship goals. Further, there are other pillars that seems to play an important role in enhancing the above relationship. These are namely managers, knowledge regard SBSC and the, their expertise. Henceforth, this study have proposed the following research question. Research question number one, what are the key findings in the existing literature on different configuration of SBSC, their relationship with environmental performance outcome and challenges of using SBSC frameworks for such outcomes? The second research question, what is the possible role of SBSC knowledge in the relation between SBSC architecture and environmental performance outcome? Research question three, the, what is likely role of presence of experts in the relationship between SBSC architecture and environmental performance outcome? Now, let's discuss how this study has been conducted. We conduct systematic review. We went through these six steps. We start with the carry out the article search in the database using proper keywords, organize them in EndNote, eliminate all duplicate article, assess the quality of the studies and whether they comply with the inclusion criteria, analyze paper completely, and then summarize, we summarize the evidence and then interpret the findings. This is an inclusion criteria uh, in which a step four was based upon, we have only include 
include the articles where by published in uh, with the developed line peer reviewed journal listed either on SCOBAS, ISI, Web of Science. The articles body text indicate that it is considered SBSC as a part. That means we just consider the articles that mention about sustainable transport card and the article that mention environmental investment decision making, environmental performance outcome, and the article must be written in English. Also, I would like to mention from where we start. From where we start what? From where we start collect the data. Actually, we start since 2001 until July 2020. Why since 2001? Because at that time, the first article published by Epstein and Wisner, uh, they talk about how it's important to in integrate environmental and social perspective with balance with a traditional balance scorecard perspective. Yes, so this is the process, systematic uh, literature review process. Actually, uh, we start, of course, uh, state the research research uh, objectives and the questions, uh, which has been already I just mentioned uh, in the previous slides. And then next stage, uh, we need to select relevant studies based on the useful keywords. Actually, we use list of the uh, keywords such as uh, SBSC, sustainable scorecard, uh, sustainability scorecard, uh, balance scorecard, uh, uh, architecture, um, environmental, green investment, environmental investment, etc. We applied uh, using the advanced search feature in the database engine. This has actually resulted in 478 articles. And then we further read the, the title and abstract to find some articles that does have sustainability as a keyword, but not just relate, but the, we look at these articles that talk about sustainability and link it to the balance scorecard, not just sustainability. So um, we, Hence, 115 articles were discarded with regards to the context, and 18 articles also uh, excluded. Why? Because uh, uh, they were duplicated. Um, we found it, uh, uh, you know, a more than database, and this gives us a total 345. 45 articles. Then moving to the step whereby we have read the article. Uh, thoroughly to yield at the end with just 38 articles that were relevant and met our uh, inclusion criteria. Okay, just let me remind you about this research question number one and the key findings from the research question one. First, we find that there is more than one type of SBSC architecture in the literature. The usefulness of SBSC architecture for uh, organizational strategies the association between SBSC architecture and environmental performance outcome. And uh, we found that challenges in using SBSC. So I will go through uh, one by one. I will explain each findings. For example, the first one, type of SBSC architecture in the literature. Okay. While we revise that relevant <laughs> that we have uh, the uh, appear to be two dominant types of uh, SBSC architecture, either embedded, embedded with each perspective or standalone. What that means embedded? That means the environmental perspective measurement embedded with each uh, traditional balance scorecard perspective. This is called SBSC4. If we find environmental perspective or sustainability perspective stand alone as a fifth perspective, it's called SBSC5. And also the usefulness of SBSC architecture for organizational strategy. Yeah, actually, there is a really interesting story I would like to mention uh, now. Uh, regard the architecture. Uh, let me tell you what architecture means. Let's say it's design of SBSC. It is the core component of SBSC represented with the performance perspective, uh, strategic objective, and cause and effect relationship with each, uh, with each uh, sustainable scorecard perspective. Okay, so in 2016, Hansen and Schalteker, they published an article. It's a systematic review. They, they reviewed 
uh, around 69 articles just related with balance scorecard and SDAC. They find that architecture is very important and useful for organizational strategies. And also they show us, they present three uh, hierarchical of SBSC, hierarchical, semi-hierarchical, and non-hierarchical. And they said that how this architecture is important and you have to understand it before you depend on SBSC or choose which architecture is suitable for the uh, uh, for uh, support or useful for the organizational strategies. Actually, in 2018, Fig and Han criticized this article. They said that art, uh, architecture, it doesn't matter. Since sustainability or since environmental information there, it's useful for organizational strategies. Actually, Hans and Aisha in 2018, they replied to the Fig and Han. They said that uh, there is misunderstood. They, didn't, they said that we didn't uh, mean that uh, architecture is important. And also, let me uh, say it in layman terms, it's like using a planner. A planner is very useful, right? To help you to improve uh, your academic performance, for example. And you have to choose the most perfect layout to satisfy your needs, right? So just you have, or just you bought a planner, that doesn't mean you have, uh, you are guaranteed A's in your uh, report card. So this is what they meant exactly, Hansen and Schaftiger in 2016, when they mentioned that the architect, it's important. The association between SBSC architecture and environmental performance uh, outcome, actually uh, several studies uh, examine and show us how SBSC uh, uh, has, uh, let's say, a relationship with the environmental investment decision making. They, the several of studies like Alwin and Miller, Alwin and Stone, and also Kaplan and Wisner, what they did, they, they conducted experimental method in order to see or to explain this relationship. At the same time, they want to see as there is difference if, for example, decision maker depends on the SBSC4 or SBSC5, which one is more effective? Um, and they actually, they uh, end or they uh, present different results. For example, Alwin and Miller and Kaplan and, uh, and Wisner, <clears throat> they find that if there is high, uh, high level of management, <clears throat> there is difference between SBSC4 and SBSC5. And this difference is more, let's say, salient with the SBSC5. Alwin and Stone, 2013, conducted experimental method uh, to show that the effect of the SBSC architecture on environmental investment is making, they found there is no difference if SBSC4 or SBSC5 doesn't matter. But they mentioned that the issue or the difference is between SBSC4 and SBSC5 is the time, the time and cognitive efforts that uh, uh, the participant, uh, you know, spent when, while they analyze uh, or while they, let's say, uh, depend on SPSC5 to, to, to choose between uh, investment or between uh, two uh, uh, investment alternatives. Okay. The literature also not several challenges in the deployment of SPSC framework decision by decision makers. What these challenges? Actually, just I mentioned before while, it's uh, SPSC Actually, uh, uh, I said that it's uh, SBSC, it's a derivative from a balanced scorecard. Um, SBSC has uh, the parameter are qualitative in nature. Uh, what does that mean? Um, meaning that um, it, it, there is what I can say like, um, it's, uh, there is, uh, it's difficult to, let's say difficult to measure the qualitative, um, uh, uh, let's say parameter than when it is quantitative, it's easier. So what they notice, they notice that the, the participants, when they want to choose between alternative, they depend more on what? On common measures, on the, uh, let's say the measure that they use to depend on it. Let me give you just an example. For example, under financial perspective, uh, the measurement could be written on investment, um, uh, annual cash flow, um, uh, sales growth, right? A payback period. So when I insert, for example, for example, energy cost saving, 
they will they will depend on just the financial metrics to choose between alternative rather than uh, depends on the let's say qualitative or unique results. Also, uh, literature what they found they found that the difficulties is that the knowledge the no knowledge or let's say uh, filmmaker they don't aware or have much background about SVSC so they find difficulty to link between uh, performance perspective and strategic objective. Regard the research question two and the three, um, we find two keywords, SPSC knowledge and the presence of experts. Okay, so let's start with the SPSC knowledge. What is SPSC knowledge? SPSC knowledge, it's like um, the literature defined it or found it that insufficient use of non-traditional SPSC measures. SPST proponent, uh, proponents have also found that decision makers knowledge deficiency regarding the unique measures, just I mentioned uh, in the previous slide, meaning leading indicators and common measures, uh, lagging indicators, will what confound their decision maker making. Also, the level of knowledge and understanding of SVSC uh, matrix is, like, is likely to influence how evaluator use common and unique measures to evaluate the performance. So definitely, if, for example, we depend just on the, if I present, I give the, uh, let's say, I give the decision maker full information. This is exactly what the literature mentioned. They provide for them full information, financial, non-financial, with considering environmental information. But when they want to choose between alternative, they just depend on the financial and even non-financial, but that they use to it. In terms of sustainability, environmental perspective, they didn't depend on it. So why? Because the lack of knowledge. When speaking about the presence of experts, we, associ we associate it with the theory of expert competence, with proposed the rule of experts in complex decision. In complex decision, uh, decision actually here, uh, in this case, we mean that with the SVSC. Yes, SVSC, I can consider it as the complex. It's not easy because as I mentioned earlier, it's more than a one type of the uh, information, financial, non-financial with the environmental uh, parameters. So it is, let's say it's difficult tax. This difficult uh, case or difficult uh, tax, what they need? They need uh, people who has uh, experience. Uh, the theory actually of expert competence propose the role of expert in complex decision uh, tax and also uh, and such tasks is the deployment of SPSC architecture for environmental investment decision making. Just one study has been done in 2018, focused on one aspect of expertise. That is what domain knowledge. Here, we mentioned that domain knowledge, I meant SBSC knowledge. According to the competence theory, that expertise in a given field required acquisition of multiple skills in a specific area or domain. If, we if I combine all the uh, variables, just I explained uh, earlier, we uh, propose this conceptual model. I can say it moderated mediation model. This actually uh, emerged where by this study suggests that association between SBSC architecture, I mean, SBSC architecture, SBSC four versus SBSC five. Why? Because I want to see, I want to see or I want to open the door for the future resource to tell us which one is better. Is it four or five in terms to achieve environmental performance outcome that's moderated by uh, presence of expert and mediated by the SBSC knowledge? Okay. The literature revealed that there are contradicting findings, or we found that from the findings, uh, of the articles that uh, we uh, analyze 38 articles, we find that there is contradicting in their findings regarding what? Regarding the difference between SBSC architecture, four or five. Also, some studies suggest that there is significant difference between both SBSC architecture in terms of their impact on environmental investment making. 
other, they found there is no any different, the difference just between, uh, just uh, uh, in terms of the time and the uh, effort, cognitive efforts. Also, the significance of the SDSC architecture in terms of its influence on environmental investment is making calls for a closer examination. Why? Because we won't now just say four, five, four, five. Okay, if there is different, those, those group of literature uh, who find that, who, who found that there is different. We need to know which one now it depends. Is it on four or on five? So those they say, okay, there's no difference. They, they, they were clear, but those that they, there is difference. We want to see which one is more uh, significant in terms to achieve environmental investment decision making. Okay, also there appear to be a, a variation in the behavior of decision makers between four and five perspective. I mentioned the experimental method that uh, have been done, they found that decision maker depends, uh, the decision uh, uh, maker depends uh, more on the common measure uh, rather than uh, unique measure. So there is variation in their uh, behavior. In addition, the experimental studies that have been done, how they done, how they examine the, the there is different or the important or significant of SPSC, they use university students to act as a real world manager to make judgment on hypothetical cases. Therefore, the current study proposed to conduct the, exper the experiment uh, on real world manager who utilize sustainability parameter in their strategic planning and operation. The, we, we believe that the results from such a study are expected to be more robust and dependable. Regarding the second and third research question, although domain knowledge has been studied as SBSC knowledge, as I mentioned, just one study has been done, 2018, the presence actually of experts appear to have been overlooked in the existing literature. This matter has not been explicitly mentioned, but has been alluded to by uh, suggestions about manager, managerial expertise. Accordingly, some studies have identified the complex range of factors that influence the impact of environmental issues on investment decision making by business managers, where uh, they suggest that environmental outcome, for example, green performance require manager who have significant expertise with environmental issues. Therefore, this study draws from the theoretical lens provided by theory of expert competence to propose that the presence of expert will moderate the relationship between SPSC architecture and environmental performance outcome. This article has, uh, has three main areas uh, of implication. The first one is theoretical implication implies in the fact that this article contributes uh, to the literature that lacks adequate context on the relationship between SPSC architecture and environmental performance outcomes, the conceptual model proposed by this research helps to reduce that gap in the literature and opens a way for many more research uh, paper in the field. What about social implication? Yes, also present, uh, also this research actually does benefit for the managers, why? To achieve their uh, stakeholders' goals and hence improve the business operations of an organization. Last, but certainly not least, this study has a major uh, practical implication whereby the proposed conceptual model uh, presents factors that need to be considered by decision makers to help them achieve their organization environmental situation goals. Although this study attempt to present this course on the literature on SPSC architecture, it is potential impact on environmental performance outcome. The study has several limitations that should be considered when evaluating the result. The first one, there is a possibility uh, that when restricting the paper samples by keying in words such as SBSC architecture, Definitely, some relevant articles may have been excluded from this systematic review. And also, we consider only the findings from the articles that published were Muscovas, 
or uh, uh, Web of Science, ISI index journals. So may we have excluded relevant articles actually published in journals that are uh, also uh, peer reviewed, but not indexed in the uh, Web of Science. And also many of the uh, published uh, work on SPSC are informal books chapter actually conference paper uh, that have been also exclu uh, excluded from this study further. We have only considered the article that written well in, in, in English language only, and that may have excluded possible relevant articles. Actually, to conclude this uh, session or this, uh, let's say, uh, uh, lecture, this study contributed to a better understanding of the current state and possible future research this direction on SBSC architecture in the context of environmental performance objective or business organization. This area of research has received relatively less attention in terms of generating empirical studies that are essential for strengthening decision-making behavior when SBSC is deployed by managers particip participating in effective decision related to environmental performance and when consider considering and when uh, considering uh, the underlying strategies and priorities of organization. This study actually opened uh, up possibility for future research. First, uh, more empirical research is uh, warranted to validate whether the presence of experts as a moderator in the relationship between SPSC architecture and environmental performance outcome is significant. And also um, uh, this, this, uh, the single uh, study finding on the mediation effect of SBSC knowledge needs further validation. Moreover, it is worth considering whether an emerging moderated mediation model that links SPSC architecture to environmental performance outcome would facilitate a consistently predictable pattern in the relationship between SPSC architecture and decision-making behavior in what to achieve the sustainability goals of organization. Thank you for your attention. Um, if you have any question or comment, it's my pleasure. Uh, Dr. Saad, thank yeah. you very much for this uh, fruitful and uh, interesting presentation. And uh, we, hope, we hope to see you again, Shal, on another uh, academic research. Inshallah. And all the best for your uh, research. Uh, if anyone has a question, please, uh, the floor is yours. Go ahead and ask Dr. Saad. Yeah, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is uh, Muhammad uh, Razaur Razak. I'm from Sultan Tabus University Department of Management. And uh, I have two questions for uh, Dr. Swad. Number one, yes. uh, Dr. Swad, the field that you conducted a systematic review in seems to be a very nascent field. There are not too many articles available. So why did you decide to do a systematic review rather than a general review? This is one question. Mm -hmm. The second question I have is, uh, you have developed a very interesting conceptual framework mm -hmm. uh, out of your uh, review. So mm -hmm. are, you, are you planning to do an empirical study on that? So these are the yeah. two questions I have. Okay. Uh, thank you, Dr. Uh, Mohammed. Actually, uh, for let me uh, answer your first question, why we decide to go with the systematic review. As I mentioned earlier, how its sustainability nowadays is important. If I just go with the literature re review, it's not enough to give me whole idea about this, uh, let's say, valuable technique, sustainability balance scorecard. So systematic review give me, uh, uh, help us to undertaking all uh, the literature related to the sustainability in depth. We need that because uh, as you know, systematic review is not like general literature review. We want, we want to see the findings. We, we need to read uh, those uh, literature that, uh, uh, that discuss or that uh, present sustainability Moscow card. We want to see exactly from the title and, uh, uh, until their conclusion what uh, we're going on so we can at the end uh, or, or uh, yes we can at the end uh, present like this uh, conceptual framework the second question is yes uh, we plan to go with the empirical uh, studies because moderated mediation model is very uh, according to the Hayes uh, 2017 it's really 
variable model and it's not easy to conduct it. Uh, and we have to go with the experimental method to conduct this type of, like this type of uh, model. And also if uh, we inshallah start with this study, we, would, uh, we will target the managers, not uh, target the student like uh, the literature uh, when they conduct their experimental method. Okay, thank you. Any other question from audience? Uh, do you have any question, please? Uh, Dr. Rivino, uh, Dr. Yahya, uh, thank you, Dr. Suad, for a very good presentation. And um, scholarly, uh, I believe it's scholarly done. Uh, <clears throat> I just have a few concerns because uh, the first and foremost, the, the study is uh, if we um, if we try to relate it to the students as a as a form of uh, instructional material, it, it seems it's very uh, very high for them, highly high. and the framework is really uh, high in uh, in uh, the structure. So uh, I would just be concerned on how we can actually in in fact when I was thinking about the MBA. Uh, I was thinking of how this can be translated into a case study concept wherein uh, the, the students can really uh, grasp the, the, the content of it. This is very good. Mm -hmm. And I see this as uh, more relate, re related to, can be applicable to managers, as you say, because mm -hmm. uh, it's more on decision making where the participants are uh, high profile uh, employees, something like that. Mm -hmm. Managers, HODs, uh, it's more on decision making. So my concern is <laughs> if we want to integrate this for instruction purposes, uh, how could we translate this into a case study for uh, MBA? I, I, okay. I suggest uh, how we can do this. Okay, thank you Dr. Ravini for your question actually. Uh, it's a good question. Uh, at the beginning, I highlight how important to integrate. Sura, the sura uh, sorry. Yeah, Dr. Revenue. Uh, actually, at the beginning, I highlight how it's important to teach our student, for example, accounting and even management student, about this uh, tool, sustainability bronze code code architecture. Not just postgraduate, not just uh, MBA student. Let's start from the undergraduate. Why this? technique is important. For example, as I'm teaching managerial accounting, okay, at the first first chapter, we have to show them when we, so talk about, uh, when, we, when we talk about when we talk about managerial accounting techniques that help managers to evaluate their performance, they have to know what is balance scorecard, what is SBSC. At least, at least Dr. Revenue with the undergraduate, just show them financial perspective, what does it mean, how we measure it customer perspective, internal uh, internal business process, learning and growth, and environmental perspective. They have to know. And then with the MBA, maybe because the higher level definitely, we want to let them know how the, for example, decision maker depends on this tool or on this technique to choose between alternative to evaluate the performance. So see, it will be two stage. For the undergraduate, give them. What is SBSC means and what is their perspectives? For the MBA, also Dr. Revenue, for the MBA, as I mentioned, according to the systematic review, we have two types, actually more than one type, but uh, the most common, uh, it's two types, SBSC4, SBSC5. So let's MBA student to go with this. Okay, what is SBSC4, what is SBSC5? How, Dr. Revenue, how important the student to know how integrate the dual nature features, the measurement that it has dual nature features with each SBSC, with each SBSC uh, perspective. So that's why uh, I, I, at the beginning, I said I chose this article and today uh, teaching next episodes because I, I, uh, I believe we can link SBSC with our, uh, uh, with our uh, teaching, especially with the, um, for, for my topic, managerial accounting, and maybe also Dr. Revenue in your field also, maybe management. Uh, I think um, Dr. Mohamed Razak also from the management department, right? At Sultan Kabus University? Uh, yes. 
so uh, Dr. Mohammed, for example, now as a management uh, in your uh, department, uh, can this SBSC uh, 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 architecture um, be as a valuable topic or let's say fruitful that you, for example, in your uh, master, I heard that uh, now there is master uh, degree in SQ. So can they, for example, is it, uh, let's say valuable that MBA, one of your, for example, MBA student to go and conduct, for example, uh, experimental method or, or just explain in the theoretical <laughs> journey, explain for them what is SBSC architecture? Yeah, so uh, in response to your question, the answer would be that, for example, in strategic management, uh, we would teach a balance scorecard, the original balance scorecard by uh, mm -hmm. Norton and Kaplan. That would mm -hmm. be for evaluation of performance of an mm -hmm. organization. And now the fact that, uh, for example, the first slide you showed uh, a recent article in the Harvard Business Review by Kaplan right. and another author, they mentioned mm -hmm. reimagining uh, balance scorecard in light of ESG, environmental, social, and governance parameters. So uh, yes, we, we, we actually do teach our students how to incorporate uh, these sustainability factors into the, the organizational performance and, it, and the BSC and now the SBSC are actually very useful tools. It gives you a snapshot of what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, see Dr. Rufino, I hope that I answer your question. Okay, doctor. Any other question, please? Any other question? Oh, Hello, yes. do you hear yes. me? Hello? Yes, we hear you. Okay, uh, I am from uh, Iraq, Kurdistan region, Dr. Sofi Saleh. Sofi Saleh. Hello, do you hear me? Yes, we yes, hear Dr. you. Yes, yeah, Dr. Salam alaikum. Okay, I, wa I was late and there is some uh, internet problem. Just uh, uh, I uh, hear your you know conclusion and dr mohammed uh, comments it is it is my pleasure to join to join you but uh, as you know there is uh, three p's of sustainability they call it a planet a profit people or three pillars yeah, or yeah. three yeah or three yeah. pillars of sustainability Right. But there, there is no empirical research shows that mm -hmm. sustainable scorecard, okay, link with the uh, sustainable strategy. Can you explain if there is some, you know, research or uh, some overview regarding the integration or the link between sustainable scorecard and sustainable strategy? Yes, actually, uh, actually, first of all, thank you, Dr. Uh, Subhi, for uh, your uh, participant. Actually, Dr. Subhi, yes, there's a studies, for example, uh, I mentioned about the Alwin and Miller and Alwin and Stone, and also uh, since 2009, the, the scholars start to link between SBSC uh, pillars with the sustainability strategy. So sustainability from where Dr. Sustainability from where it's come? Why in 2001, since 2001, the literature decide decide to integrate environmental perspective with balance scorecard? Yeah. Because they found how it's important, but yes, they all the studies have been done is experimental. This is what I mentioned, experimental studies, and there is no, yes, they, they depends on them uh, just in university students. Yes, we would like Dr. Subhi and the few, for the future research to go and conduct, if they conduct experimental method or other method to show us how we link or how explain this relationship between SBSC and strategic sustainability uh, strategies. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, all, all right. But may let me have some comment. There is some of my students, they confused about the GRI, Global uh, Reporting Initiatives. Yes. Yeah, and the KPI, but uh, till the now- Indicator, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, till now, uh, we want to conduct empirical research 
Yeah. Uh, okay, applying uh, balance scorecard or whatever. Uh, there is some uh, yes. barriers, you know, to uh, to find data that could yeah. enhance your your finding. You know. Yeah. yeah. Actually, uh, okay. actually, doctor, in okay. two thousand in two thousand nine. But actually, I forgot the name of the article. I can share it with you. There is an article has been done. They depend on the GRI to link between yeah. balance scorecard uh, and um, uh, yeah and the uh, uh, performance evaluation. If I'm not mistaken, I will share it with you. But you know, Doctor Subhi, maybe in the future we can go with the you know a new uh, search together. Okay. <laughs> you are interested to in this uh, topic. Yeah, I, I am really, really interested. I uh, am now at is uh, what they call it, uh, educator, educator or academician member of uh, yes. SASP. Yeah, yes. and I, I attend, I attend uh, two meeting of SASP in New York uh, last uh, before Corona. You know, because yeah, yeah. I have, uh, as you know, I have a Canadian citizenship. I go to the states or whatever. But yes. uh, I do have good, uh, you know, what they call it, uh, belonging to the SASP, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And inshallah, we could conduct research inshallah. regarding inshallah. The, the, you know, the, what the application uh, in, mm -hmm. in Middle East or in developing countries regarding mm -hmm. the sustainable sport card and sustainable strategy or whatever. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much for your valuable presentation. Thank and you. thank you to Dr. Mohammed from Sultan Qaboos University for thank his you. valuable question. And uh, I hope see you again in uh, next presentation. And thank you too to Zahra uh, uh, College. Thank uh, you. Uh, yeah, uh, we will see you again. Inshallah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, okay. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Subhi. Thank you very much for your participation and for your time. And we hope to see you again, inshallah. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you. Any other question from participants, please? Or we need to end the, the seminar? OK, final, uh, a gentle reminder, please. Uh, fill out the form. Uh, we've been sent already the, the link. Uh, we really urge you to, to fill out this form. We need it for our evaluation of the seminar. Uh, can I end this uh, seminar? Uh, thank you very much all uh, for this part, for your participation. And uh, once again, thank you, Dr. Saad, for this thank you, Dr. interesting thank you. Uh, presentation. And thank I, I just need to ask you, yes. it's just not a question, actually, just a remark. I know this present uh, this academic uh, research. It's uh, yes. very academic or more technical. Yeah. And if you can simplify the techniques or the structure of the paper, that so we can share it with our students. You know. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Our purpose yeah. here, our students, yeah. we are more care about the students to understand the research. Yeah. Uh, and how they can go for literature review. So we need you if you can just simplify, simplify the paper so we can yeah. share it to our uh, students. Inshallah, doctor. Thank you, Dr. Sahar, once Thank again. You Thank you for you, Dr. Thank and you. We'll see you, inshallah. Thank you for all of you. Ma'asalama. Ma Thank, Ma 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 Thank you very much. Bye.